of us are in this position right now, Lord, I'm not worthy. You know my life, I'm not worthy. But the Lord said to him, then the Lord put forth his hand, touched my mouth, and the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over nations. Praise God, somebody here has a work to do. There's somebody here who's a stand by their pastor. There's somebody here who needs to get down into God to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to kill and to plant. God is looking for somebody to work. You're not too young to work. God spoke to another man named Isaiah. Oh my God. Now, if you read the Bible, you understand that in the year King Uzziah died, it was just a matter of time frame. If you do Bible study, you understand that Uzziah had nothing to do with Isaiah being the Lord. But it was just a matter of timing for you to know that he saw the Lord in that year. But as I thought about that word, I said, God, there's some of us here, saved and unsaved, that have a Uzziah.
the gift of God. Hold on. Thy word is a man. In the darkest of valleys, it's a lamp. The, the darkest part of the night, they say, just before the day. But if you know Jesus is an everlasting, omniscient light, and as long as you've got Jesus with you, it can be darker than hell, you've got light. I know there was an altar call, Pastor. But there is this work that has to be done. It's not about being a, an elder. No, 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 no. And it's not about being a pastor. It's not about any title or accolade. This is about me working for my king. This is about me working for Jesus. Because when no one else looked at me, when no one else loved me, when no one else appreciated me, God knew me. So when he's saying to come, to work for him, doesn't matter what the reason is, God said that he's going to bring you through. As I said, I know there has been an altar call on me. Mm. But the atmosphere that the Lord set in this place today is to bring somebody out. Mm. It's to bring you out of Egypt. To bring you out of the groaning and the complaining and the problem and the circumstance. And even if you reach a red sea, he's proven enough to you that he is enough to even carry you through. If there's someone, I don't usually do an altar call after I read, but I'm ready. Meaning that I usually hand over to Pastor, let him do. But is there someone that we can pray with? Someone that has a desire for God, but the pressures of life seem to weigh me down. I don't know which way to turn. The songwriter said, God is concerned. God is concerned. Because the harvest needs labor. God is concerned. A young woman on the street needs a young woman in the church to tell her that God can keep her. A young man out there needs a young man in the church to tell her that God is able. Not just the young, but the old as well. If you want to sing for God, if you want to be an intercessory prayer warrior for God, come. If you want to be a preacher, come. If you have any desire to work for God, this is the season, it's the moment of restoration. I'm going to ask the ministers that are on this pump with me, the ones who are led by God. In an atmosphere like this, if you're not led for the seat, we're dealing with the spirit of people. And we're dealing with the atmosphere that will bring them into restoration. If God don't leave you, don't come down here. We mean God. We want God to work and touch the life of these people. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Come. If you need him, come. If you're here, my God Almighty, the Red Sea. If you don't
Oh, 